Weighing in, fights and films. Welcome to Weighing in, fights and films. I am Brett DeThreat with my cousin and co-host. Jenny Rose. And we have a top five, a special one, because Valentine's Day is coming up soon. It's a special day for you. Yes! <laughs> yeah. It is my wedding anniversary. Yeah, so happy anniversary to you and Milda. Happy anniversary, Milda. Yep. Uh, it'll be just another ordinary day for me, but <laughs> I'm fine with that, actually. <laughs> um, so, but in honor of Valentine's Day, we are doing our top five chick flicks that we can stand to sit through. <laughs> Neither one of us are big chick flick people. Nah, not really. What is your number five? Number five. I, I'm going to go a little different on this list. Uh, my, my number five is Last Tango in Paris with Marlon Brando. Have you seen it? Nope. It is a very, very erotic movie. Uh, there's a couple of scenes in there. This is more than I want to know about my Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't seen this movie, it is a fucking sexy, racy movie, and it was made way back in the day, so you're, you, you can watch it on that level. Like, I can't believe they got away with that at this time. There's a scene with a stick of butter that I don't want to tell you about. Marlon Brando's going, I want you to fuck a pig, and I want the pig to puke in your mouth. And it was like, oh, there's so much fucking gritty shit in this. What's your number five? <laughs> um, my number five is a, is a lot more cutesy than that. Um, mm -hmm. Is IQ. Uh, IQ? IQ with Tim Robbins, uh, Meg Ryan, and Walter Matthau. Walter Matthau plays Einstein. And the tagline is, with uh, Einstein is Cupid, what could go wrong, you know? I it's saw cute. this trailer and I went, nope. How's Matthau's Einstein? Is, is, is the character it's, good? I think so. Yeah. I enjoyed it, yeah. Did he have a German accent? Yes. Okay. Yes. Walter and, Ma I, you know, I just might watch that just for Walter Matho. But it's fun, and it's kind of like romance for geeks. Nice and little. with your math degree, I'm sure that you latched onto that. Yeah. My number four is Nine and a Half Weeks with Mickey Rourke. Another racy, sexy movie, which is really cool. There's a, there's a, there's a whole food scene in that one, too, where he's dripping honey all over her leg. Well, the whole movie's basically an S&M thing with her discovering her love of S&M. So we got butter and honey. I butter think, and honey. someone's hungry. And horse whips. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey ain't got nothing on nine and a half weeks. <laughs> Number four for me is the movie French Kiss. French Kiss? Yes, with Meg Ryan and Kevin Klein. Another Meg Ryan. Another Meg Ryan one. There is a scene in this movie where she just calls every man in the room a bastard and it's great. You're like, all oh, men are bastards. Bastard. <laughs> What's your number three? Number three is E Tu Mama Tambien. It's a foreign film. Have you seen that one? No. No. <laughs> it's another really erotic movie with these two teenage boys. They run into like this uh, 20 something, 30, I think early, early 30 woman. And she agrees to go on a road trip with them and she has sex with one of them, each of them at the same time. And then she, had, she has a threesome with them at the end. And the two guys discover that they There's had a thing for each other. To your list. <laughs> yeah. It's a really sexy, steamy movie, and I, I highly recommend it. And going on with my trend, number three <laughs> is First Wives Club. For, with oh, man, Bette really? Midler, Diane Keaton, and Goldie Hawn. I love oh. Goldie Hawn, first of all. And Diane Keaton is just fabulous. And who? Yep, you know, the divine. You know, Bette Midler. You know? And again, it's three jilted women <laughs> who get back at their exes. I think we can tell what my personal life has been yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> my number two is Dangerous Liaisons with John Malkovich. <laughs> Have you seen it? No. No. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's right in line with all the rest. Uh, it is and it isn't. Okay. This is a, it takes place in like the 1700s, so you get all those fancy costumes and stuff like that. And this was John Malkovich's really breakout role that people actually recognized him as the great actor that he is. The movie is about him taking a bet with another like uh, aristocrat that he can have sex with this other woman because she's like kind of like, she's rich and she's a prude and he's like no i can do it but this is a very well done movie the costumes are amazing the cinematography is fantastic and john malkovich just knocks it out of the ballpark there's sexy uh sexy sex scenes and there's also like rape scenes in it so john malkovich's character is just an asshole and he's great not only is it a, like a chick flick good movie but it's just a great movie in general continuing with my trend for number two <laughs> is the other woman with Cameron Diaz. I don't know any of these fucking movies. <laughs> with Cameron Diaz and Leslie Mann and um, Nikolai Coster Waldo. I don't know how to pronounce his real name, but he's Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. Leslie Mann plays the wife, where, and Jamie Lannister, <laughs> you know, the guy that plays Jamie Lannister is her <laughs> Just husband. Just call him Jamie Lannister. <laughs> this is, I'm a Game of Thrones fan, so we're yeah, going, me yeah. Too. They find out that he's sleeping with Cameron Diaz, so. 
these two team up against him, but then they find out that there's another woman, and then all three of them team up against him, and they get back on the guy, and there's Don Johnson in it. Don Johnson? <laughs> and Nicki Minaj, which I'm, you know, I can actually... Nicki Minaj? She does okay. She does okay in it. I'm not, you know... All right. Yeah. I don't look for her in movies, but she pulled it off. She did well in the role. Yeah. But that's my number two. And again, see, it's, you know, getting back at the guys. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Don Johnson in anything since Miami Vice. He did good. It was, it was, yeah, I mean, I remember watching that with my mom. So when I saw it and saw Don Johnson, I was like, hey, it's Don Johnson. Because my mom loved Miami Vice. What's your number one? My number one. It's <laughs> The Princess Bride. No, I guessed that. I knew that was going to be on your list. This is... I this, knew it. <laughs> this, is, this Now, it's different from all the other ones that I have chosen. And, I, and it's still along the same line. So hear me out. <laughs> This is a wonderful children's movie. Wish. This is a wonderful, uh, this is a wonderful uh, chick flick. It's a wonderful romance movie. It's beautifully shot. Uh, Rob Reiner directed it. It's got some of the greatest memorable lines you'll yeah. ever know. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed Kill my, my father. father. Prepare, Prepare to, to die. die. <laughs> no more rhymes now. I mean it. As Anybody you want a peanut? Wish. Yes, yes. As he rolls down the hill. <laughs> so many quotable lines, but. This movie will get you laid. <laughs> so it absolutely will. It's your advice to the single guys out That's there. That's what this one's about. <laughs> if you say, hey, you want to come back to my place and watch The Princess Bride? She's going to be like, oh, I love that movie. I will totally go back to your place. Oh, what a nice guy. And then like, yeah. And then you switch into Dangerous Liaison. <laughs> then you switch into John Malkovich. <laughs> Well, my number one may not be what you expect. Uh, I totally expected Princess Bride from you, because I, I know how you feel about it. My number one is Practical Magic. Now, but the thing with me, this, Again, is, Sandra, this, this is Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman and uh, Stockard Channing, which I love. She was uh, Rizzo from Greece, you know. Are they witches or something? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Diane West is the other other uh, aunt. This isn't Valentine's watching for me. This is like a Halloween requirement. They're witches and... They have this curse on the family that whenever they fall in love, their lover gets tragically killed somehow, dies somehow. And then, uh -huh. so she falls in love and she's, you know, doesn't want it to happen because, you know, of the curse and everything. But it breaks at the end. Everything turns out great at the end. And, yeah. I'll check flicks too. I went a little more racy for Valentine's Yeah, you day. went racy. I definitely went in the revenge category. <laughs> <laughs> so we both took a different angle on this. So that's our top five chick flicks we can stand to sit through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And happy Valentine's Day from Wing in Fights and Films. Be sure to show us some love by subscribing, liking, and commenting. <laughs> We have a link below for merchandise. You can also support us by that. And don't forget to support her MMA fight career. Yeah. By uh, buying some of her merchandise. The link is also below. And the next time we do a list like this, we will have uh, my wife on as a guest because she absolutely adores these movies. Yes. Oh, we should have had her as a consultant. <laughs> yeah, well, she was. She was my consultant. Oh, so yeah. I had no one to consult. It was all me. <laughs> all right. Like, comment, and subscribe.